Hello, my clarinet lovelies. Miss Anastasia here. I am a Reach Teach Play Sistema Ravinia Lake County instructor. Today, we're going to review how to get those low notes in the right hand. First things first, before we even touch our clarinet, let's review what good hand position is like. We want to make sure we have a nice C curve in both hands. Sometimes I like to take a can or a water bottle. My preferred drink is a club soda. Grab it with your hand so you can really feel what that C is like without the clarinet. And then you just transfer it straight to the instrument. We've talked about this before. We have open tone holes on the clarinet. Some instruments have tone holes that are completely covered. What that means for us is that each finger has to really seal the open hole in order for it to work properly. So that's why that C curve that we talked about is really important. Otherwise, air is gonna leak out of those keys and we're just gonna get all sorts of squeaks and squawks and funky sounds. What you can do as you put your fingers down on those holes is really make sure they're curved like mine. We don't wanna see any flat fingers. We don't want your fingers hanging over like that. We don't want them straight up and down like that. You can even see how much space there is in that hole and air is just gonna leak right out and then we'll get some squawks. So make sure we have nice curved fingers over those tone holes with the finger pads or the fleshy part of your fingertips. Now to practice the right hand, we'll start on C and work our way down note by note until we get to G. So C, B, A, G. Do that a couple of times until you feel really comfortable with all the finger placement, and then we can noodle around and mix and match all the notes. It's really helpful to practice this and a lot of what we do in front of a mirror. That way you can see what your fingers are doing. When you're playing, there's no way to sneak a peek at those fingers. If you have a mirror that you can put on your stand or in your bedroom, that's really easy. If you're like me, I don't have a mirror easily accessible in my practice room. So I'll show you my favorite place to practice. Did you guess it? We're in the bathroom. I know it sounds silly, but bear with me. You have a mirror, a huge mirror, and really good acoustics. So you'll always sound really good in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. 